Just like everyone else, I'm on the hunt to pull something good. And we're in a pay to play scenario when it comes to Pokemon cards. So here we are paying to play. Today we're gonna open a $120 ETB. Yeah, $120. So I was able to get a couple for retail, but I wanted more. And the only places that had it locally to me were charging it 120 bucks. I'm not a fan. I'd much rather pay 50 bucks, but ugh, I don't have the willpower. I couldn't hold out, so I spent the 120 bucks. I bought the ETB, and I don't know. All I know is this sucks. So that's not the state of Pokemon that I want to be in right now, but that's where we're at. I don't know. I guess we'll take it for what it is and open up a $120 ETB. We got the real good stuff. Oh, what the hell? There's two? Oh, VMAX. Uh... 10 packs. Let's open them up. And I am hoping to pull something fantastic. Whether luck is on my side is a whole nother story. But, you know, only one way to find out, right? Hey, get away, Eldegoss. Yeah, so, so in picking up the expensive-ass ETB, I also picked up the Eldegoss 10 because it is a pretty playable card, and I've seen people have better luck. Hey, finally, another one. Still no sign of wheezing. Um, I do, oh! Starting off with a shiny Jack look. There we go, finally. Something decent. Let's hope that this $120 ETB is worth it. Shiny Dracloak for the reverse holo in the rare. <gasps> cool. Already pulled one from the last uh, Pikachu box. So yeah, getting getting two hits like this in one one pack. No complaints whatsoever. And it's funny because it's not like I really give a damn about Charizard because it's not like I'm gonna play it. But obviously the hype to pull it is there. So pulling a Charizard, it's a priority. And getting a wheezing would be pretty nice too. And anything that's playable, really. Let me know what you guys think is the playable card in this set. Let me know what you guys are hunting for. I am definitely looking forward to getting some Lysandra. Lysander. Other than that, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting uh, coughing and wheezing myself, to be honest. Oh, ball guy. There we go. Reverse hollow is a ball guy in the rare. <gasps> oh! <laughs> We already got this thing, but hey, I'll take more. Full art gym trainer. Man, this is a good ETB so far. Hopefully the, the hits keep coming. And with battle styles coming along the way, definitely looking forward to finally building something with that set. And I'm also looking forward to building something with the set. Obviously, Center Scorch VMAX is uh, very much so in the meta. Hopefully we get some of those. Luxio. Ball Guy, Tropius, Rowlet, Qfant, Spinarak, Snom, Horsey, River. Oh, there we go. Shiny Baby Snom. I don't know why we call them babies, but they're babies, I guess. Whatever. And the rare, definitely a solid ETB. And, you know, people say that the first run for sets like this, that's when you get the good ratio. Uh, maybe that's true because my run with Champion's Path. As late to the game I am is absolutely terrible. So, Gym Trainer, Floatzel, Team Yell Towel, Eevee, Horsey, Cactia, Shinx, Nickit, Reverse Halls of Chudo in the rare. That's the first non hit for the day. But, like I said, so far, so good. It's so weird. I don't know what it is with this new, new, uh, these new sets, but there's so much room in the pack. So, it feels like loose skin, loose skin for Pokemon cards. Oh, hey, there you are, Sam. Okay. One, two, three. We're gonna go wrong names only. Ugh, I don't even know how to do this. We'll try it out. Hold on. How the hell do you even say Floatzel wrong? Uh, Floatzel. Shit. Uh, wrong names only. Tropis. Bald guy, you can't go that one wrong. Snom, you can't go wrong with that one either. What the hell? I might need to try this again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Grooku. Grogu. Uh, Eevee. <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing is that seeing some of these box breaks and whatnot, 
when people say the names completely wrong, Gen 1 is always correct. Go figure. Morpeco. I call him Morpeco. Chewed... Uh, Jason Rudo. And then, the, yeah, Boss's Order, cool. I suck at... <laughs> I like to believe that I say the names relatively correctly, at the very least. Put some effort into saying the names. Uh, some others out there... Yeah, y'all have some trash-ass pronunciation for Pokemon names. Elder Gross. Dark Trick. Damn it. Cramrans. <laughs> Nick. What is what did somebody call this guy? Uh Boozle. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. Shinx. That was kind of straightforward. Coughing. There we go. Another one. Finally. Where did I put my coughing stash? I don't know. Uh how do they how do they say this guy? Um Trapinch? I don't think that's that weird, but okay. Tropus in the rare. Oh hey, Rillaboom. That didn't say it wrong. Man, I suck at that. Never mind. Never mind. We won't do that. It's a little too confusing. I clearly suck at trying to forcefully mispronounce a name. Clearly, whoever's mispronouncing the names on purpose or not on purpose, they just don't care for Pokemon. So far, no Charizard. And my guy Austin pulled two in one day. So good for you, dude. Good for you. I am quite envious because my Champion's Path run has been terrible, and so far, Shiny Fates has been, eh, more or less decent, for so far at least. It's only downhill from here, guys. Tropius, Gym Trainer, Rotom, Snom, did I just move a card? Whatever, I don't care. Sm two cards, Morpeko, Spinarak, oh! This is a good sign, I hope. Grim Snarl, shiny Grim Snarl V as the reverse hollow. There we go. And the rare. That was lackluster. What the hell? Not to be ahead of myself, but uh, I'm running out of room for all these hits. Okay, we are down to our last three. Don't worry if you made it this far into the video. At some point, oh, at some point, I'll give the code card for the ETB. But you must be patient, unlike those people on Instagram that are constantly begging for codes. Thwacky, Floatzel, Tropius, Yanma, get off my hand, Tromorpico, Morpeco, Eevee, Glastifera, Yanma. <gasps> Hopefully this wasn't the shiny thing I saw, it'd be so disappointing. Team Yellow Towel in the rare. <gasps> oh! Sick. Finally, something also very much so playable. I'm definitely looking forward to getting a playset of these. I think this is a reprint, so I think I do have a couple of other ones. I think. For those who don't know what I mean by playable, I'm looking for cards that have some form of meta relevance, whether it be draw acceleration, um, discard acceleration, or some other way to perpetuate a certain flow of the game. And so something like this very much so has that ability. So. Speaking of abilities, burp, burp, burp. let's take a look at Dark Asset. Why did I just tap the card trying to focus on it? God damn. Dark Asset. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. You can't use more than one Dark Asset ability each turn. The good thing about this is, let's say in your hand you have about two cards, and there's no other way to draw more cards, but you have one of these guys in there, you play him down, now you have one card left, you draw up to six cards. So that helps you regenerate having more cards into your hand, which means you can perpetuate your gameplay even further. So, yeah. Factoid, can't lie, I'm running out of room for my hits. We might need to supplement our hits with other things. Maybe we should get rid of Ball Guy. <laughs> He's not exactly a hit, right? So, sorry Ball Guy, you've been eclipsed. Big Eclipse. So far, I am not complaining at all with this ETB. It's 120 bucks. It was expensive as sin. I don't know if any of these cards are going to equate to $120 worth, but I am satisfied with my pulls. Therefore, to me, it was worth it. And that's the whole, you know, discussion about what, you know, value. Do you find value in paying that extra markup? For myself, I would much rather not have to pay the markup, but with the area that I'm in and the accessibility to such products, 
if I have to pay to play, unfortunately, that's the way I have to go because, you know, you see in the video, I waited in line for five hours just to get two ETBs. And, you know, granted, it was overall a successful hunt. I'd much rather not spend five hours each and every day trying to get Pokemon cards. So, to me, time is definitely worth it more so than money. Granted, time is money and blah, 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 blah. But in this instance, I paid to play and I have no complaints. So, to me, I found value in it overall. To you, your miles may vary. Reverse Hollow is a float on the rare is another Jason Zeruda. If you guys don't find value in spending 150 bucks for the box and you have the ability to get it for retail, by all means, get it for retail. I am envious because that's how I used to be. <laughs> that is exactly how it used to be. Retail, no, no lineup, no hunt, but times have changed. Coughing, finally. Where's wheezing, dude? We can't do anything with coughing unless we have a wheezing. Jesus Christ. How many, how many more packs do we have to get until we get a wheezing? Reverse Hollow is a more peck on the rare. Oh! Poke Kid, there we go. This is probably one of the most sought after full art trainers in the set. It's funny, as soon as I saw this card, it instantly reminded me of this one kid at Locals who would always wear a Pikachu onesie. Super sweet kid, super nice person. Every single time we would see them at a different tournament outside of the area, they always say hi. So, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is for you. Oh, super cute. Look at that thing. What do you do? Search your deck for a Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Oh, simple. <laughs> Man, this is a solid ETB. No complaints at all. That's not all. We are not done yet opening cards because we have one more. Eight dollar pack. Now, this is a whole beast within itself because this is just kind of instantly not worth it. That was a killjoy. Yeah. That is, this is a whole other story of value. For a set like Vivid Voltage slash Battle Styles that's coming up, the fact that these sets are being marked up like crazy, I'm not a fan of it because that means that these local card stores can justify, justify marking up a regular unhyped set of Pokemon cards for $8. That's twice what they normally sell it for. That's something I'm not a fan of. With a specialty set like this, these in-between sets, as I call it, these make sense because they're so much more limited that, you know, there's a slight, slight grant, you know, it's slightly warranted to mark those sets up. But something like this, it's ridiculous. And why I bought them? Because I haven't seen Vivid Voltage on the shelf since the first two times I've seen it. So, <sighs> disappointing. And here we have a Duck Slops and... Berserker. Let's take a little quick little recap in our pulls. Oh man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's only included ball guys. That's eight. Oh man, this was a heavy ETB. Like I said, whether or not everything I pulled equates to the value of 120 bucks, I don't know. But the level of satisfaction with pulling stuff from it, yeah, that's there absolutely. So, Cramorant V Max. Shiny Dracloak, Shiny Snom, Crobat V, Hollow Rillaboom, Poke Kid, Shiny Grimmsnarl V, and a Gym Trainer. Overall, I am super, super satisfied with these pulls. These are all hits, in my opinion. Monetary value not being a concern for me, but man, I have no complaints at all. So, comment down below. Let me know if you guys find value in these sets running up to 150 bucks at this point. It's a little ridiculous. It's absolutely ludicrous. I'm not a fan, but but right now that's the state of Pokemon. So yeah, it's tough. Um, I think when it comes to value overall, if you are paying aftermarket prices, those tins, those Cramorant slash Eldegoss slash Bolton tins, those are the way to go because for one, you're getting six packs, and if they charge fifty bucks. You know, there's, you're getting packs under $10 a pop. Mine, for aftermarket prices, were 60 so $10 roughly a pack. Like I said, I would much rather equate to $5 a freaking pack, but we don't have that luxury anymore. At least I don't. So if you have these boxes at your disposal for retail, absolutely get on it because 
it's only going downhill from here when it comes to these prices because these resale prices coming directly from retailers is absolutely ridiculous. So subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification button so you guys can get some of these code cards, see some of these pulls. Let me know what you guys think about the current state of Pokemon. Till the next time, bump hard. And for those who don't know what the hell pomp hard means, stay tuned. <sighs>